wants to marry her. Now, I have to back you up a little bit. Jacob had a brother, Asaph. His brother, Asaph, was a dirty old man. And Jacob, after 36 years, not having to do anything with his brother, now is meeting up with his brother for the first time in 34, actually 34 years. They are now 97 years old. And Jacob is a holy man, and Esau is a powerful but dirty old man. And the rabbis tell us that when he prepared himself to see Esau, he allowed Esau to see his sons, but he hid his daughter from his sight. Why, the rabbis tell us, because he was afraid that Esau may want her for himself. And because he prevented Asa from having his daughter, that's why she could have helped Asa become different. That's why her destiny was to fall into the hands of Shem. The question is why? What sin did the, all right, Jacob did the wrong thing? Maybe he should have allowed his brother to see his daughter. And maybe through her, Asaph would have gotten better. Okay, so Jacob might have been wrong. Why should Dina suffer? My God, what did she do? Let me tell you something. Do you know what the word Dina means? Dina means judgment. The rabbis tell us, why was she given this name? Because Leah, her mother, who was pregnant with her sense that Dina was supposed to be a boy. And there was a problem. If Dina is a boy, that means Leah will have seven boys. She knows that Jacob is destined to only have 12 sons. If she has seven, there are four other boys that have already been born. That means Rachel has only one son left. That means Rachel will have less children, less sons in the house of Jacob than the two other handmaidens. And that's something she didn't want Rachel to suffer. And so she prayed to God, God, I've done an accounting, I've done a judgment, please change my son to a daughter. And that's what happened. Dina was transformed from being a boy to being a beautiful girl. What does it mean? It means the following. Her femininity was something that was not usual. She was supposed to be a boy and the boy became a girl. That's beyond the call of nature. She is someone who's being a girl is supernatural. And so, Asa was a man who when he saw something, he just took it. And the reason why he just took it and threw it away is because once you take something and you dominate it, you don't have to have it another time. You already dominate it. Throw it out like a piece of garbage. And so Asa would just throw out the women that he would attack. But Dina was different. Dina's womanhood was supernatural. He couldn't dominate the godliness that was found in this little girl. And therefore, Jacob should have understood that Dina had the power to transform this dirty old man to make him into a different kind of person. And Dina was the kind of woman that would attract these kind of people because only they could appreciate just how different she was. A normal person to see a difference. But a man who dominates women understands a woman that you can't dominate. And so, 
Shem was taken. Shem wanted to dominate her, but he couldn't. And he was frustrated. He wanted more of her. But it wasn't because he loved her. It's because he wanted to dominate her. And he couldn't dominate it. And he was driven to try to get it. But he could never be able to get and fathom the depth of her beauty because it came from God, from a godly power. We see from here, however, just how perverted Shem was. If you want something that's so beautiful, so good, be a mensch. Realize what you're trying. You're asking for something that is so pure and holy. What are you doing for it? The first thing you do is say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... I, I bent, but I, 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 I have corrupt. I, I really did the wrong thing. Please forgive me. No. He rapes her and wants her. And he's holding her. He doesn't let her go back to a family. And so this is the most perverted of the methods. He tried to dominate her, take her, without any concern about her own desires. And that's why his end was tragic. But let's look at the relationship. Let's see what happens when boy meets girl. You could dominate her, but that's not good. You could be dominated by her. That's also not good. So you want to see how you can get along. That's called spatial. You see how you two can fit into each other. But that's not enough. you got to think long term. Can we, do we have the same ideas? Are our, are our goals the same? In the long term, do we want the same things? We want family, but maybe we want it a different way. Maybe it's not going to work out. That's from the point of view of time. And then, there's the idea of fusion, of unity. Are you the same kind of soul? Do you both stand for the same thing? Do you work together for the same ideal? If you do, that's a marriage made in heaven. Because then you and she are two sides of the same coin, standing for the same thing, living the same life, and the same purpose. That's called the soulmate. So now here you have the three branches of the river in relationship. Spatial, learn how to get along. See how you two can get along with each other. Time. See long term. Are you both in the same page, in the same direction? Do you stand for the same things? Do you have the same goals? And then, transformation or fusion. Are you and she, do you have the same goals as she? Is your life the kind of life that she also exemplifies? and you exemplify what she wants. This is the ultimate question. And if you do, then it's transformation, fusion, unity. You found your soulmate. Shem was tragic. He might have been able to find his soulmate in Dina, but instead of looking how to get along, he looked only how he can get what he wanted. Anybody who does that is destined to live a life of heartache no matter how much money, how much power you have.